Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick. In this video I'm going to talk about a new feature in Lightroom Classic CC called Range Mask. So one of the new features in develop uh, is the Range Mask. Range Mask is just an addition to the Auto Mask that provides an easier way of getting along edges rather than trying to manually paint along them. So I'm going to show you the two different types which are colour and luminance. So here's an image and we have a little bit of whiteness going on here so I'm going to start off here uh, by painting with a brush and I'm going to double click on effects so that we have no effect here at the moment I'm going to increase this my brush a little bit and I'm just going to make kind of a softer edge so I'm using the square brackets and I'm using the shift square brackets so I'm just going to paint along here and see what's going on I'm going to press the O key for overlay right so I'm just going to paint it in there roughly and now uh, I could have used auto mask here but auto mask isn't great although they do have made improvements to it so now I'm going to go here with luminance so what I'm going to do is I want this to affect just a particular area so I, like because the waves are white I only want to make it affect the waves so as I pull along here we can see that it's only affecting the waves and then the smoothness will control the actual edge along there okay so it's a little bit into the sky so folks just to be clear on the range the range is from 0 to 100 that corresponds with all the way from the blacks right through to the whites. So down here, if we had the range mask down here, it would be only highlighting or only allowing the mask to work on the darker areas of the image. Or if it's between these points here, it's just the mid-tones. And up to here, it's just the highlights. So when we start at the beginning, the range is from 0 to 100. So that means it's affecting all of the tones in the image. So that is all of the luminance values of the image. So it's really just the brighter areas I want to pull back a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click O again so that the mask is hidden that I don't see the mask and now I'm going to pull the highlights down a bit so that's just going to darken those areas there let me pull a small bit of exposure as well so you can see there that's allowed me to narrow in a little bit and just get a little bit more detail in it as well I'm also going to show you uh, the range mask on this one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the graduated filter and I'm just going to pull down over the sky hold the shift key that allows me to have a straight line so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the saturation. So it's increasing the satur saturation everywhere. But really, I only want to do it in the sky itself. So the actual sky areas are in the clouds. So I would click on color for this case and grab the eyedropper brush and choose a color. So that isn't the only type of blue. So I'm going to follow the advice here and shift. Uh, I, can, I can do a shift, drag, drag or a click drag. In this case, I'm going to do click. And the same story. If I press O, we'll see where the mask is now. Uh, so we can see that it's literally only these areas of sky where it's all kind of super blue have been so it's going to get affected by it as well other areas are not going to get affected again by using the amount we can narrow or increase the areas that are affected so by doing this a lot of the outside areas won't be affected and it'll just be the blue so if I press O to turn off the mask and we can see that just the blue in the sky or the bluer areas of the sky have been affected so if I turn on and off the brush now both areas will be affected oh sorry that's just a brush i forgot that if we turn off the grad filter and we're just waiting for it so that's light light blue and that's a much more saturated blue but we can see these areas here are unaffected by the saturation so that's one look at it here so let's go to another image and with this one here we could again we could get the brush and if we wanted we can just paint along here so i just press o again to paint along And so obviously I'm not being as sensitive as I could. So again, I can use the range mask on luminance. So you can see it's pulling away from the edge. So therefore it's going to be nicely along the edge. Again, I can pull my highlights way down. So I'm just going to press O to get rid of that and turn it on and off. So we're only affecting that area there completely. There can be highlights, specular highlights inside sand and things like that. So I'm not affecting those areas there by doing this. Another way we can do it here is this is a we shot with a tilt shift lens. We have all of this green inside here. Let's say I just wanted to work with these leaves only. But in this case here, I could be on brush. Uh, and just double click to make sure it's reset here. So I'm just going to paint here along the edges. So this I'm going to press O so I can see what I'm painting. Now I want to be slightly careful here because some of the green in the actual leaves is close to the grass. Um, but not so careful other places. So now again, I'm going to go for a color range mask, grab my brush 
I'm just press O here, so I'm definitely clicking on a leaf. Holding Shift just to select other darker colors. So I'm kind of mixing up the light and dark colors that are in. Okay. So now I press O again to see what's going on with my mask. We can see that it's reduced down from that brushy mask the whole way around. So if I uh, press Shift again, I should be able to add this leaf over here. Um, that may be outside the actual mask itself. So if I grab the brush, I should be able to paint there as well. I might have missed it. Yeah, I think I missed it. And down here I've missed, so I'm just going to paint those ones in as well. But it's going to keep to those colors. So now what I can do is, um, it's going to pick up some of this color here because I obviously painted in there. So if I hold down the Option key, I can paint that bit out. And in the grass here where it's affected, I can paint that bit out as well. So like the normal brush tools are still in operation here. So now I'm just going to add those leaves in. And what I'm going to do here is going to turn off the mask by pressing O. And now we're going to make some big changes to color so that we can really, really see what's going on. So as you can see here, we've just basically affected just the leaves. Now, of course, it could be a little bit tighter again, just in the painting so I can paint in just to make sure those areas are being selected. And of course, then the, the amount will allow me to change the edges of the actual mask itself. So folks, that has been a look at the range mask inside of Lightroom. Uh, Lightroom Classic CC to be precise. And that's one of the new tools that you have with this feature. And it's actually a great little feature and very, very usable and quite powerful. Uh, very few things have the masking tools here that do that. So I'm delighted to see this now in Lightroom Classic. Folks, thanks for watching. Uh, do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell if you want to get notified. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. That really, really helps spread the work that I'm doing here. And obviously the content is completely free. So it's payback for me that it gets shared and makes it worth my while doing as well. Folks, thank you for taking time to watch this and I will see you in the next video.